Okay, right, we're back again. Now, between making the videos, what I've done is I've just went and created a quick synth line, okay? Now, as you can see, it's not complicated, it's not anything. It's just to give you context for what we're talking about with the beats, okay? Now, um, what I've done in here, I'll, I'll, I'll just play the actual synth sample just quickly so you can hear what's going on. You can see what's been adjusted. So I've got a knob assigned to the gate, I've got a knob assigned to the steps, and I've limited it to go only going up to two, okay? Um, I've also got, let's see what else have we got. Come over a little bit. I've got that effect there of the pitch dry wet. I've also got that. Okay, and that's pretty much all I've done with this, okay? Just so I can have a little bit of variation over the sound, okay? So we can jam with it. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mess around. I'm going to, and bear in mind, this is me still at the learning stage, just to, like, still thinking about how I would be making my track. As, we, as we've done before, just to quickly recap, is in the drum kit, we've set all of the effects so we can use the knobs and we know that we're not going to get any loudness coming through and it's not going to, it's not going to mess anything up if we turn the wrong knob at the wrong time. Now, just have it in your head that if this was you and you were looking to start performing uh, your tracks out live, you just, you can't perform live until you've actually learned what effects you've got set up and you've had a, a mess around with them. So this is just a sort of procedure that I would go through. And what I'll, basically what I'll be doing is I'll be bringing it with the, the full beat in with the synth in and then I'll be breaking down the beat and then breaking down the synth, maybe building the synth and dropping the beats back and I'll just be messing about with it like that, okay? So um, it's just to let you... Uh, all I'm trying to do is give you an insight into how I go about creating tracks and performing live with uh, Ableton because I've, I've had people saying that they're, they're, quite, uh, they're quite enjoy seeing how someone else uses it because it just gets your own ideas flowing when you, you see someone else using it so um, I'll just hit play on both of the samples so we'll just have a, a jam on it and you can uh, you can just listen and see what I'm the, the sort of procedure I'm going through okay so Bring up the drum rack just so we can, we can, pay, oops, we can pay attention to the fit that what we're doing with all of this, okay? So we've got, this, we've got everything running, so we'll just get in.
Okay, so you're getting the general idea. I'm just playing about and trying to mix the sounds together, trying to do different things, and just keeping in my head what things I thought sounded good. Um, so I'm just going to keep it for a little bit longer. So see, I've got to this stage of the life. Kill that down a bit. saying right we want some of this. Then we decide that we want the bass back on the beat. But it's obviously we've taken the attack off so it's just giving us a little bit of low end and we can maybe start building the bass again. I think it's important when you're making dance music uh, that you don't just, as I said in one of the other videos you'll have seen, I think it's important that you don't just stick things, like layer tracks upon each other just by pointing and clicking with the mouse. The whole point of performing music is to actually put a performance in. And everybody says that dance music and making music on the computer isn't like playing an instrument. Doing it the way that I do it is like an instrument because the the more the more you go through the process that I've just shown you, and you do you do the same process with your your drum kits with the synths with the bass lines with the effects that you put on, with uh, any sort of background noise anything that's in your track, you can go through you can fine tune everything you set your knobs up so you know that every knob when you turn it it's not going to mess up the song the sound in the song okay. Um, and the more you do that, the better you get with the tracks. And in my opinion, the best dance tracks that you hear are dance tracks where it almost sounds organic. Um, things are morphing, sounds are changing, every, everything's all happening, and it's, it's seemingly random. And it is random because it's somebody sitting, d using knobs and just uh, seeing where the song takes them. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it's got uh, maybe opened a little bit of inspiration for you. And uh, I'll just see you in some more videos again. Cheers.